telling you this is this is what I should be doing. You see? And that still small voice is to, uh, 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 telling us through the Spirit what we need to be doing unto salvation. You see? Because the Lord is being gracious unto us. Verse 22. You shall also, I'm sorry, you shall defile also the covering of thy graven images of silver and the ornament of thy molten images of gold. Okay? We're telling uh, our people, the nation of Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, that the image of Jesus Christ, which depicts the image of a criminal uh, by the name of Caesar Bogier, is not the biblical image of the Messiah. Okay? We're telling them that the Queen of Heaven, Semiramis, also known as uh, uh, Mary, is not to be worshipped. Okay. These are these are idols. These are graven images. The Lord is uh, telling us to cast uh, cast off. Okay. It says, "Thou shalt cast them away as a menstruous cloth, as a menstruous cloth." What does a woman do to her uh, 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 period pad uh, or a tampon, which really you know. <laughs> Tampons aren't healthy, but you know when, uh, what, what? What does a woman do with her pads when she's when she's bled all in it? Does she keep it and cherish it and say, "Oh, you know, keep it everywhere she goes, keep it in her purse, you know, store it uh, 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 in her in her uh, in her dresser for good for good you know good for bad times or for good measure, or does she throw it the hell away, man? That's what we're supposed to do with these idols. They're disgusting. Would, would you would you would you sleep with it with your but your peer, your you know, your, your, your a bloody tampon, and hold it, hold it in your head, hold it in your in your hand while you sleep. Cause that's that's how the Lord looks at uh, how disgusting that is to Him. That's how abominable it is to Him when uh, you when you have these idols in your heart, man. Okay, and it doesn't necessarily have to be you worshiping Jesus Christ or worshiping uh, 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 Mary, the Queen of Heaven, or, or praying praying to Allah. But also uh, being covetous, okay. Basically uh, holding things uh, uh, like it's like it's yours, okay. When it's really something that the Lord might not have even given you, okay. That's one of the Ten Commandments: Thou shalt not cover anything that is thy neighbor's, okay. Something like that. We're supposed to cast away like a menstrual cloth. Thou shalt say unto it, Get thee hence. Okay, and so uh, going back to First uh, Kings, chapter nineteen, uh, verse uh, thirteen, it says, "And it was so, when Elijah heard it, that he wrapped his face in his mantle, and went out, and stood uh, in the entering of the cave." And behold, there came un, uh, unto him, I'm sorry, and they, there came a voice unto him and said, What doest thou here, Elijah? And he said, I have been very jealous for Yahweh, the power of hosts, because the children of Israel have forsaken thy covenant, thrown down thine altars. The Lord gave us um, covenant, stat I'm sorry, statutes and commandments to follow, okay? And Israel, uh, going a whoring after other gods, tore down the the holy places that the Lord set up for them to uh, uh, worship in, to worship Him in. Okay. And this is the nation. This is the nature of the nation of Israel. Okay, is to tear down the altars of the Lord. You know, commit wickedness, but only for so long. This is not going to go on for much longer. Uh, because the children of Israel have forsaken thy covenant, thrown down thine altars, and slain thy prophets with the sword. And I, even I only, am left. They seek my life to take it away. And Yahweh said unto him, Go, return on thy way to the wilderness of Damascus. And when thou comest to Syria, uh, anoint Hazazel to be king over Syria. Okay? 
Um, read it. I'm gonna skip down to uh, to verse uh, 18 again. It says, "Yet I have left me seven thousand in Israel, all the knees which have not bowed unto Baal, and every mouth which hath not kissed him." Okay, those who trust in the Lord. All right. Now let's get a couple precepts. This is Psalms chapter 2, verse 11. Serve Yahweh with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the son, lest he be angry, and ye perish from the way. When his wrath is kindled but a little, we're supposed to serve the Lord, Yahweh Shai. Okay? We're supposed to serve the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Okay? We're supposed to serve our Lord, Yahweh Shai. And we're supposed to serve the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Okay? And by kissing the Son, basically we're being obedient unto uh, the Lord's Son, which is Yahweh Shai. Okay? We're greeting him. We're inviting him to sup with us. You see? Lest, basically, for fear of when he gets angry, because we go off, we perish from the way that he would have us to walk, which is the way of righteousness. Okay? If we're not if we're not doing according to what uh, uh, the Lord wants, man, when, when when his wrath is kindled just a little bit. You can get wiped out. Just like that. Blessed are all they that put their trust in him. Okay? Ashar, happy, blessed are all they that put their trust in the Lord. Next scripture. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Trust in Yahweh with all thine heart. Does that mean trusting him when things are going good? Does that mean trusting him when uh, uh, it seems profitable? Or does that mean trusting him with all your heart, with all your effort, with all your mind, all your soul, in every situation, no matter what? And lean not un unto thine own understanding. Okay? We're not supposed to rely on something that we can perceive okay we're not supposed to uh uh say you know what yeah i know the lord said do this in this situation according to the scriptures but you know i just don't i don't you know i think i think this would be better that's rebellion okay okay the lord is looking for men who are obedient okay men who have not bowed down the knee to baal all right this is isaiah chapter 55 verse 8 for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my uh, are neither are your ways my ways, saith Yahweh. You see, so our own understanding is not sufficient. Okay, we need Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai to make our decisions. Okay, that's why we rely on the scriptures because these are His words. So in every situation, we already know according to our foreknowledge. The studying, listening to videos, okay, counsel with the brothers that this is the way that we should walk, okay. Going back to Proverbs chapter 3, continuing on in verse 6 In all thy ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths, okay. We didn't choose the Lord, the Lord chose us, so he's telling us what we should do you see which is contrary to Christianity because Christianity allows you to repent whenever the hell you want to okay and the Lord is telling you repent now and not tomorrow okay how do you repent by showing uh, forth works okay by humbling down by stop smoking weed stop eating pork stop getting hairlines Okay, if you're a woman, stop having sex with other men. Okay. 
you're a man, stop having sex with other men's wives. Stop lying to you to you know to to people who have uh uh good intentions for you. You know what I'm saying? People are trying to look out for you. Don't steal from them, you know. Love your brother as yourself. But most importantly, love the Lord, man. And if you love the Lord, you're going to keep his commandments. Matter of fact. This is 1 John chapter 5, verse 3. Because if you ask somebody what is love, they should be able to tell you, man, according to the scriptures. Because there's an answer. Okay? It says, for this is the love of the Most High, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. They're not something that are too too hard for us to do, okay? We're supposed to be brotherly, man. We're supposed to love one another. We're supposed to be charitable, okay? We're supposed to love the Lord. We're supposed to have faith. We're supposed to be diligent. Do what we're supposed to do and not let our own thoughts get in the way. Back in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 7, Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear Yahweh and depart from evil. Because our own ways, before we got into the truth, were wicked, okay? And we still have uh, demons on us that we have to purge out, all right? If we were absolutely perfect, then guess what? We, we wouldn't, we wouldn't uh, uh, need to repent. We wouldn't need a savior, okay? But our righteousness is as filthy rags, man, in the eyes of the Lord, okay? So we're supposed to fear the Lord, do his commandments, depart from evil, okay? Last scripture I want to get is in Romans chapter 9, uh, verse 30. What shall we say then? That uh, that the Gentiles which follow not after righteousness have obtained to righteousness, even the righteousness which is of faith. Okay? The Gentiles, the Israelite foreigners, who haven't done and kept the law their entire lives, have obtained righteousness of faith. The righteousness of faith, just like how it was uh, the faith of the Lord, I'm sorry, the faith that Abraham had in the Lord was imputed unto him for righteousness. Okay? The faith was. He believed in the Lord. The scriptures say he believed in the Lord. He believed in the Lord. Okay? We're supposed to believe, man. You got to believe. You got to pray. You got to read. Okay? Verse 31. But Israel, the majority, two-thirds of our people, which followed after the law of righteousness, the law of righteousness, which is the aspect of actually doing the commandments uh, uh, by, by uh, uh, without faith, though. You see? It says, But Israel, which followed after the law of righteousness, hath not attained to the law of righteousness righteousness okay but Israel which followed after the law of righteousness I'm sorry okay yeah Israel uh, which followed followed after the law of righteousness have not attained to the law of righteousness okay because they're seeking after the right righteousness which is of the law instead of righteousness which is through faith okay wherefore because they sought it not by faith why didn't they attain unto the law of righteousness? Because they didn't seek uh, uh, righteousness, which is of the law. They didn't seek righteousness through faith. You see, they didn't seek they didn't seek righteousness through faith. Okay. It says, 